As the Grenadier SUV continues its development, we learn more and more information about the vehicle itself, as well as the company's grandiose launch plans. Already pre-ordered by 75,000 customers, in 2022 the 4x4 will start its rollout across the brand's European and Middle Eastern partner dealerships. And the next year, it will arrive to the American shores. As previously expected, the production-ready Grenadier will be built in cooperation with the Austrian Magnus Terre, and its looks will be inspired by the previous generation of the Defender. It sits in a box section ladder frame with heavy-duty Corrado beam axles and gets a ZF-developed suspension. The two engine choices are the BMW-sourced 3.0-liter inline-six turbos running on gasoline and diesel. The former is rated for 285 HP and 332 pound-feet, and the latter is good for 250 HP and 406 pound-feet. Both mills are paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox, there is a 2-speed transfer case and permanent four-wheel drive. The interior is just as rugged as the exterior. You get water-resistant anti-stain Recaro seats, drain plugs in the rubber flooring, and auxiliary switches for plug-in and extra lights and winches. There is a modern 12.3-inch infotainment with Android, Apple, and navigation. Finally, we should mention that Enius is rumored to be working with Hyundai to source their fuel cell technology. So very likely that in the future we'll see a hydrogen-powered version of the Grenadier. What are your thoughts about this newcomer to the automotive world? Is it a worthy addition? Let's talk this over in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, like this video, and watch more through the links on the screen. We'll see ya!